Do you need body armor? Like, does anyone really need body armor for home defense or self-defense? I've always been into guns and stuff. You'd ask me a long time ago, regular guy, do I need body armor for home defense or self-defense? I'd be like, no, that's overkill, even though I have it. But strange things are happening. The idea that I could recommend that everybody have body armor is not so far-fetched anymore. And I don't want to get into end of the world doomsday prepper stuff, but if it gets to where you decide that you do need body armor, you're not going to be able to get it. Ooh. Goodies. I suck at unboxing. Uh, Chris told me that the that the experience of unboxing this was pretty good, so I thought I'd try to capture it. Oh, that's a that's a belt. Look at this. Save life. <laughs> Y'all did not have to go that hard. They put uh, a hard to hurt ID patch. But look. On the name, on the drag handle, they got a, a name patch and then another patch on the back. Oh, shit. Hey. Oh, look, another, uh, look. They sent another carrier. This is extra tactical. This is a little more up to date. Hey, safe life. You guys know what you're doing. This video is sponsored by, oh my God, this is lightweight. Now, this video is sponsored by Safe Life Defense, which is why they hooked me up with the body armor and provided this is their tactical enhanced multi-threat level 3a plus now that plus is important and i'm going to talk a little bit about how that's different between a 3a later on in the video they have a five-year warranty on the panels two-year warranty on the carrier and they have an incident guarantee which small consolation like if you get shot they'll during they'll send you another vest hopefully you won't have to do that i'm going to be reviewing the safe life vest and everything but I'm also going to be talking about like the decision to buy body armor, what threat level you should look for, why we went with this, as opposed to my old carrier, which was very heavy rifle plates. But we're also going to talk about like the training and, and practice that you need to incorporate if you are going to use body armor as part of your self-defense or home defense plan. And now if at any point during the video you want to check out, I'll put a link down in the description below, as well as a coupon code. Coupon code, use code hard to hurt. you get 10% off at Safe Life if cost was like a prohibiting factor. And they also do payment plans, interest-free payment plans on body armor. Let's be real. If we're talking about your vest, we're talking about your vest. It needs to be personalized to you. And I don't mean with the name tag on it. I'll show you how I set my old vest up. and We're going to transfer that stuff over to here. And you can comment down below if you think I'm leaving anything out or you think I, I don't know what I'm talking about. Whatever. This is what I have on my vest. This is just sort of my basic fighting setup. Rifle magazines, pistol magazines, flashlight, knife, tourniquet. That's it. I don't have a bunch of, I don't have like snacks on here. No tactical snacks. Because I didn't wear this all day. Because this was rifle plates. I can't wear this all day. And maybe you're a super duper tough guy. And you can wear rifle plates all day. But I wanted to get something a little lighter, a little more flexible. So I'm going to take everything... For now, I'm gonna take everything from here and put it over there. You gotta play with this stuff and make it work for you. Now, without making any adjustments to the straps or anything like that, it already feels pretty good. Uh, I can fine tune it later, of course, but I gotta figure out where to put my stuff. Just some little things that make this mine, why it's mine and not yours. Everything is open top, which you're probably thinking like, oh, your stuff's gonna go flying out everywhere. Now, maybe, maybe you think that, but let me tell you something that's never happened to me. What's never happened to me is me, I'm hanging upside down, you know, like fighting ninjas and terrorists upside down, you know, as we do, and my shit just go flying off, falling into the abyss, you know, tumbling down the cliff or down the elevator shaft. I'm probably in an elevator shaft. But I'll tell you something that has happened. You know, I've been under stress and then had to like try to get my shit out and, and like had a, a time with this stuff here. This, I don't even know. I don't even know how to work them. And now this is for me personally. Maybe you're doing lots of tactical rolling. Now I keep a tourniquet on my vest, which I'm woefully out of practice with. It's supposed to be set up. This is something I'm neglecting. I need to practice more with this. In fact, I probably just screwed it up because I probably had it folded a certain way. Now I gotta figure out, I got rid of a small pistol magazine in order to carry around a big pistol magazine because I thought this was badass is why. Um, the knife, which you guys know I'm not a huge fan of knives as defensive tools, but if we're talking about someone doing violence for a living or professionally or planned violence or we're moving towards danger, it's good to have one. I mostly used it to pry open the doors on single wide trailers. Uh, I've never cut a person with it. Lots of wires and boxes and stuff, but never a person. 
anyway, that's like the basic setup. But if you don't actually know how to fight with any of this, uh, it's not going to be very useful. And when I say fight, I mean like fight, not just gunfight, which we're going to do a range trip. Make sure you're subscribed. But you also get to see us do punchy, kicky fighting, like real fighting, like wrestling and grappling and punching and kicking and elbowing and headbutting. You know, like how people really fight. Because if you just buy some stuff and then put it on, you're a poser. So but I got to make sure it fits right first. Now, Safe Life has a bunch of different sizes, but they also have a fit guarantee. So, like, if it doesn't fit right, you, they, they'll send you another one. I assume you have to send the old one back. Don't try anything cute. But I got to make sure that this fits me. I, I, want it to, I want the panels. I don't want any space in here. And I might be, when they ask me my size, I might have said I was a little slimmer than I actually am. Adjustments for the cummerbund, the shoulder straps. Now, you need to be able to get it on and off as quickly as your mission requires. Normally, the way I do it is I get one side set really good, like this side for me. Maybe you'll do a different side, doesn't matter. I get one side set really good and I practice so I can get in and out of this side quickly. Bingo. That fits a little better. That feels good. Let me check. But if it, you know, if I decide that it doesn't fit, I just tell them, oh my God, it doesn't even move. So everyone knows what 3A is, right? If you don't, uh, you mostly handgun rounds, right? But this is 3A plus, it's their thing, which it goes a little bit further. It also stops stabs. Most people don't realize that a lot of ballistic vests don't actually stop stabs from knives. Like they'll stop a bullet, but not a knife. It sounds weird, but it's like something, something, physics, something, I don't know. But what makes this extra, extra special is on top of the, the stabbing, they also made sure it stops tasers, but it, they made sure it stops the Liberty Civil Defense ammo, which if you're not familiar with, that stuff gives most conventional body armor problems, serious problems. And the FN 5.7, it's the only, you know, body, soft body armor rated to stop that stuff. Stopping most common handgun calibers is probably enough for most people that's those are the weapons that bad guys would be shooting at you with and hopefully you'll be shooting back at them with something better a vest that you're willing to wear for longer is better than a vest that would protect you against more stuff but is so heavy and cumbersome and thick that wearing it becomes unreasonable they have different options they have you can get rifle plates you can get soft they have these people have flexible rifle armor which i i've been out in the game for a while so i didn't know about that but you gotta get the right one for you. If you need armor for work, like that you're gonna wear all day, this is the ticket. I would get this one right here. Maybe if, if you know that people are gonna be shooting at you with rifles all the time, obviously you need something different, obviously your mission is different. But let's talk about actually body armor for home defense. Typical home invasion, when you think home invasion, what you think of, um, it's unlikely you'll have time to don body armor. That's a fact. Bad guys bust in, you're, you've got to get to your plan, whatever that is, whatever your method is, you got to get to it right away and, you know, get right on it, get right to work. You know, you don't have time to put on body armor. But the likelihood is increasing that, and I say increasing, the likelihood's increasing, not that it's becoming great, but the likelihood is increasing from next to zero to slightly further away from zero that you could be actually like besieged in your home or place of business. And I know that that sounds like self-defense instructor trying to sell you on the idea that you need to be super paranoid. But, you know, not too long ago, we never thought that that never would have crossed our minds. In fact, the people that were like just waiting, just waiting on someone to come in, like they were kooks, you know, people waiting on an excuse to use their body armor or their guns that they have. Like that was like a, a meme or like a joke type of person, like a, like a caricature of gun ownership or self-defense preparedness but it's just it's not as unreasonable to think that this is something you might need anymore i'm not a super paranoid person a lot of a lot of what i have and do and train and practice with and think about comes from the fact that it's my job and a lot of times some of the viewers from overseas they're always like what's going on over there that you think you need all this i don't think that all of you need all this i think that some of you do and I think that some more of you might. I don't know how many. I don't know what's going to happen. But I do think that it is important to think about these things and make these decisions. And if you think that you might ever wish you had some body armor, 
If you think that that's possible, you should go ahead and get it. Because when the, when the time comes, you're like, oh man, I really should have. Everyone else will be getting that same idea. But, you know, the old adage is better to have it and not need it than need it and not have it in any case. Which, uh, at some point or another in our life, we've all carried around something that we, some kind of protection that we weren't either going to use or going to have an opportunity to use. Um, it's just in this case, you know, <laughs> no good can come of not having this type of protection. Now they sent me another carrier, which I'm just going to put the, the armor in it for a second just to see what that'd be like. You know what I mean? Because this one's pretty cool. Um, you might need two carriers. You might need a concealable one you can wear under your uniform shirt. If you're, um, like even if you're a paramedic or something and you wear armor, but then you have a range day one where you want to put a bunch of magazines and stuff on it. A, to make your range trip easier, but B, because it fucking looks cool, right? But I'm just going to put these armor plates in here and get a look at them. Ooh, lady in red. These are way better than what I used to wear. Like, this is just nicer. It's really flexible and really lightweight. I think for most of us, something like this would probably do it for most people. You can go check them out. They got bigger, bigger stuff. Rated for more stuff if you think that that's what you're going to need. If you think the zombies that you're fighting are going to have, you know, AK-47s. Ooh. This makes me feel like I want to go on a dog call out right now. Go run around in the woods. Oh, man. That is... I, can't, I still can't get over, like, how lightweight it is. Ooh. I feel like I can... I feel like, you know, I can move. Wow, 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 wow. Now, I am not going to be a hypocrite or a poser. I'm going to go to the range. I'm going to go to the mats. I'm going to train in a parking lot. I'm going to make sure that this does what I need it to do. So keep a lookout for that video. Also, if you want to get one of these, make sure you use the link down below. Use code hard to hurt to get 10% off at Safe Life Defense. Now, if you want more fitness tips, self-defense techniques, gear reviews, as well as concepts and principles that make you hard to hurt, Subscribe and turn on notifications.